we had a slow start in doubles. We'll probably take a look at that for tomorrow. But um, at any rate, I mean, I'm just really proud of these guys. They they, they knew it was at stake today, um, you know, with the silly 500 rule and with as tough a schedule as we had. And um, every one of these girls knew what, that it was coming down to that today. And I'm really proud of the way they rose to the occasion. You know, I told them you should never doubt yourself again at this point because that's about as much pressure as you can play under. And, and they, they played great. It's definitely a, a good boost, but I mean, who want, we want to win this. We don't want to stay here. We want to win this, so we're going to do our best. We've talked a lot about it, about body language and about believing in yourself and, and not letting the little things annoy you to the point where you, you know, lose your focus and you know, managed to get her back on track at 4-3 and it was just a little adjustment here and there and she, she just rolled with it. I didn't see this player before but I knew how she played because Pippa played her before. Um, I had some idea, I knew that she could play good tennis. So I had to stay focused on those points when she plays well, that's what I did. Paddy's told me just make a couple of changes to get myself inside. She's just money. I mean, she's she's a great competitor. You know, she doesn't always play the best, but she competes harder than anybody I've coached. And you know, for her to be focused even when she's not compete or playing well and be able to compete that hard, I'm, you know, the numbers speak for themselves.